Welcome to today's blog, and this is on how cleaning services can leverage branded content. And what we're going to talk about today is what is branded content, how a cleaning service can apply it, and show some examples. Uh, my name is Shane Dubell, and our company is MethodCleanBiz.com. We are a marketing agency for cleaning services. I've been in this industry many, many years, and we cater to cleaning services, janitorial, commercial cleaning, any of the specialties uh, I've experienced in, in almost anything cleaning related. And today we're going to talk about branded content. Now, what is branded content? It is a, a type of marketing that you're promoting more, you're you're focused more on promoting your company as a whole and not a specific service or, or specific product. You're, you're more, it's more the big picture that you're, you're letting people know that this is who we're about. These are the things we care about. And you're, you're trying to populate that, that the company, you're focused more on the company and not specifically that you sell cleaning services or that you sell carpet cleaning services, house cleaning. You know, you're not really focused on that with branded content. So what is the purpose of it? The purpose of it is to get away with get away from sales pitches because we are inundated with sales pitches 24/7 a day and people just don't like it constantly. Also, whenever I talk to cleaning business owners, which is every day, the number one thing they complain about is they're sick of price shoppers. They're sick of always being focused on price, price, price. Well, the, the question I always ask is, what are you saying? What kind of information are you putting out there? And, and often what happens is when you think about it, well, that's all you're talking about is price-related topics. So that's why that's how people are coming back to you. And that's why we're doing branded content. We want to attract people for other reasons than just some kind of a price special. And just to give you a quick little example, uh, this is this would be a charity or a community involvement type of branded content. And I didn't do this on purpose. I <clears throat> I actually ran across this story in January on, uh, I don't know, CNBC or something like that. And I thought it was such a cool story that I did a quick blog about it and, and, and shared links to um, to how people can buy Girl Scout cookies. This troop is focused on homeless girls and, and for kids. So I thought it was a super cool story and it, it just kind of happened real quick. And I really liked it so much. Uh, that's why I did it. But this is some. This can be anything. This could be for breast cancer awareness, or it could be about uh, dog shelters or park cleanups. This, 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 this is just a category of like the charity community involvement. So this is would be an example because I don't sell Girl Scout cookies. I'm I'm just trying to promote the the brand in general, and these are the types of things that I care about. So. That's what uh, uh, branded content is. That's why we should do it. And, and what I'm going over here in this, in this PowerPoint is I'm trying to explain the deeper relationships that you can create with customers, the better. So, so it's not just a transactional relationship. That's a whole nother part of this, a whole nother layer of creating the branded content all the time. Now, what are some things that we can do? You know the cleaning tips and hacks blogs. I think that that's pretty that that's pretty popular, and almost every cleaning service does it. There's a lot of ways to do it. Uh, the before and after transformations. This is really popular in social media, and you, what I call them are action shots that people shoot videos of cleaning. And I, I know it might not. Um, and my, I know it probably might. Th sound weird but people really like this stuff sometimes it's some of the most viral content that you see is videos of something being cleaned 
and it, it's bizarre that people like it, but they really do. So these can be highly effective. Client testimonials and success stories, of course. If you can shoot a quick video of somebody, of, of, of a client giving you a testimonial, that would be amazing. Or if you do a blog about a success story, a project story is, is what, that's something that Google search likes a lot also is the project stories where you explain the project that you completed, especially if it's something interesting like a, a deep cleaning, a clutter cleanup, a construction project where you, you can show from the beginning to the end that that would be something super interesting that would be uh, branded content. And here are just some more examples of a spring cleaning blog series where you do a sequence of five or ten blogs, uh, uh, the video series. Uh, this is something that I see quite often, even locally, uh, that's the challenges. And, and there's even one that I just saw the other day with a garage door company, and they're having some kind of a challenge about show us your pictures, uh, I think it's on Facebook, it might be Instagram though, that show us your pictures of the absolute worst garage door or the ugliest garage door and the winner gets a free garage door installation. So that that type of uh, challenge can also be great branded content. So this was just a quick little blog and video on how to differentiate yourself from competitors. There's a gazillion cleaning companies out there. It's always been like that. It's always going to be like that. So we have to find ways to stand out than just the sales pitch over and over and over again. And again, my name is Shane Dubell and our company is methodcleanbiz.com. We are a marketing agency for cleaning services.